Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are back with Chrono Photo. We are going to be guessing some of the years that these photos came out. Now, last time we got to a score of 2,973. <laughs> Literally 27 points away from 3,000, which is the goal at the minute. So we're going to try and get 3,000 today. We're on the road for it. So let's see. As again, the internet is being an absolute bar steward today luckily i just said that after the 30 seconds so i can be monetized very clever very clever but let's have a look at this now interesting photo very interesting in fact i don't actually know what uniforms those are i'm normally quite good with um sort of world war one era uniforms they're very interesting aren't they look at those stars i've got to say that i would think that that is Russian, a Russian uniform, but I could be completely wrong. Do let me know in the comments below when you know this. But, I mean, it's got to be World War One, right? Now, if we we've got to take a lot of leaps here. Look at that saber, bro. It could be earlier. I have had some that looked like World War One and was actually in the 30s, but I have had some that have been looked like World War One, and it's just pictures of soldiers from before World War One. So, you know, it can be a bit of a red herring, but we've got to use what we have here. And the most likely explanation is that it's World War I. So, you know, we're going to go for that. Now, we're going to also go for the fact that it is Russian. That's important because Russia left World War I in 1917 because of the Russian Revolution, right? So... It can't be 18 or 19. So we've, we've got a window of tw uh, 14 to 17. So I think we go for 15. And that also covers if it was a little bit earlier in, say, 1910. Or a little bit later, 1920. It's a nice hedge of the bets. Now, it's going to come up that it's 1932 or some shit. But <laughs> let's see. Nine see, I, I, after the war. After the war. It's, it's a red herring again, but we got some decent points from it from, from betting 1915. And I thought, I think our reasoning was sound there for putting it in 1915. I don't think, you know, we could have worked that out being 1922 unless we were some sort of military historian. Uh, so, yeah, I think sound reasoning there. So I'm quite happy with that one. Should have been 1915, though. <laughs> that would have been a bit nicer, wouldn't it? Um Right. When it loads, we'll see. It's just the fuzz. It's the fuzz. My, my, here comes the fuzz. If you get that reference, do link it down below. Oh, if we just press that, it loads. Ah, <sighs> you... <sighs> right, if this isn't World War One, I'm literally going to punch my microphone into oblivion. Because surely this is World War One. Have a look at these. Guys, to me, they either look Austro-Hungarian or Italian. Judging by the uniforms, of course. Have a big artillery piece right next to them. He's got his shell ready to go. They're having a discussion about it. He's like, shouldn't we be firing that, bro? They're like, nah, not today. Um, and this guy's like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> so... Let's go 1915 again. It's going to tell us it's 1932. Okay, this one actually was 1916. Good. Good. Now, another one. So, there we are. It's just taking a little bit to load it in here, which is a bit weird. Fiarucci. Fiarucci. Okay. Interesting. That's a hairstyle you don't see too often nowadays. These women with these sort of perm hairstyles. Now, last time we had a lot of denim, it was the 70s. But I... oh, surely this is not the 70s. Look at the bright colours in here. Bright colours on all of those sort of... This looks quite a fashionable place. And everything is bright and shiny. Oh, if we could get who that was. Let's have a look. I, yeah, just can't. Ooh, mu uh, music, 
Muse? Yeah, Musk... Muscle? I don't know. So you got to go off the um, the fashion here. I think this is 90s. I'm going to put it out there. Like I say, I didn't live through any of this. So when we talk about fashions that some of the older viewers might know, you know, bro, I didn't live through this. So I didn't see this firsthand. So let's uh, submit 1995. And it's going to be 81 or something, isn't it? It was 1980. Ah, <sighs> bright colours. Should have gone for the 80s, but oh well. Right, on to round four. We're doing okay, though. Had a couple of off rounds and a couple of good ones. So, let's have a look. Right, we have cars. Where is that? Wow. That is one hell of a beautiful building. That is stunning, honestly. Postal? Something postal. Okay, one thing we're noting here, we have these very old style lamps. We do have electricity. We have traffic lights. That's very crucial because it, I know it looks so old because it's black and white, but we have traffic lights. And look at those cars. The black and white here See, the black and white here is, is definitely a red herring again. Because look at those cars. They, to me, look... You know, is that like a an Opal Cadet or something? Like, that's 50s and 60s, right? And that's quite a nice, you know, sort of old... I think this is 50s, you know. And that is one stunning building. Please tell me in the... One thing that this game lacks is that after you guess the date, I wish it would give you a description of what the photo was of. <laughs> it doesn't. So you just, you're left there wondering, what is that? Unless you reverse image search it on Google, then, yeah, you're just there wondering what it is. Um, we've got a lot of flagpoles without flags flying. I think this, I think this is late 50s, early 60s. Let's have a look at some of the attire that they're wearing. You know, got these sort of shorter skirts over here. Gentlemen not wearing, like, full suits everywhere. It looks like to be a warm place. Quite warm. Or warm at this time, anyway. I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go 55. Hedge our bets once again. Love a bit of a hedge, don't we? So, let's go for it. See? That was... Set. See, I told you the black and white was a complete red herring there. 74, bro. It just doesn't, to me, that just does not look like 1974. Not what I've got in my head. I didn't live through it, so I don't know. But <laughs> it really does not look like 1974 to me. Um, and honestly, these cars look, uh, I don't know, not a car historian. So <laughs> it was wrong. It was wrong. Okay, it was wrong. Right. So we have Turkish... Um, the big Turkish protests. Now, there have been a few big Turkish protests over the years. Obviously, this is one of the most recent ones. If I could get a view of a photo... Oh, God. This guy's just packing, bro. <laughs> I know to you Americans that might not be shocking, but to us Europeans, that is certainly shocking to see a guy there with a gun in his jeans. <laughs> if I saw that in the UK, the police would be getting called straight away. <laughs> Oh, my days. All right, let's have a look at these cars and vans. They look quite modern. I'm thinking late. When? See, my initial thought was it was 2011. But I think now looking at the cars, it's too... Yeah, that's too early for this. We should be good here. When were there large protests in Turkey in the, in the last couple of years? I mean, there's been ones last year, right? 2022 and 2021. Could we be that late, though? I don't know. This doesn't look like post-COVID to me. I don't see... A, like, no matter how much of mask wearing is uh, culturally is in your country, unless this is like an anti-mask protest, but I don't see any banners 
about that. So I think... I wish I could see a phone. Why is no one... Come on, this is the 21st century, guys. Someone's got to be filming this. <laughs> um, a lot of police... Let's look for a scowl for any clues we can. Kardesler. Uh, no, there's just literally no clues. He's got a pen. You know, the pen is mightier than the sword, but he also acknowledges that the sword is also mighty, <laughs> storming this tank. Um, I mean, it might not be a protest. It might just be like a police show day, but it doesn't look like that. This guy's just casual. He's like, please, please, just come, come off it, please. Don't don't stand up there, please. <laughs> it's not working very well, is it? I mean, all these police around here, but these guys are just all stood on the top. They're not doing much. <laughs> um, oh, God, I think this is, you know, I don't think this is, I think even, you know, even if there's no culture of wearing masks in your country, I think after COVID... There would be at least one person here where... Oh. Oh, it's a beard. Uh, wearing a mask. Just one person in the crowd that might be wearing a mask. So, I'm going to say it's pre-COVID. I'm going to say 2018. And let's have a... Let's just have a stab at that. It was 2016. So, it was a little bit earlier. But that's fine. How did we do? 2,400. Not a bad start on the first round. Obviously, this red herring... We had a few red herrings in this round. Luckily, that one wasn't. This was just poor, you know... Ah, these 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 trends and these fashions just all meld into one for me. It's it's so hard to 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 like point them out. This was clearly a big red herring with the black and white, and that was okay. So let's get on to a new game. Let's see how we do. So guys, nothing was working, so I've had to uh, reload the game, and unfortunately, it's not the same uh, picture. S similar easiness because we have, of course. Uh, I can't say his name. Mr. Badman. Badman over there. Very bad man. Over there. And we have, you know, iron crosses. I don't know whether I can say that either. But, yeah, iron crosses um, on the chest of these. I was going to say what organization. Badman Youth over here. Um, so, I'm going to say this is, you know, obviously around World War II. Uh I'm going to say early World War II, maybe even pre-World War II, I think. Yeah. I've not seen ba Mr. Badman wear this hat too much during the actual war. So I'm going to say about 1939. It's a good hedge as well, because if it is towards the end of the war, we're close. That it was the end of the war. Wow. He looks mighty happy for at the end of the war when everything's unraveling. <laughs> so, okay. Not quite as good as our last round, but okay. That's fine. Hopefully we get a nice easy one now. Come on. I'd like you to load. Okay. Right. So. Huh. This is going to be... A bit of a test. I wish I could read that. That could be Africa, but it doesn't make sense because we're in the Middle East. Something David... I mean, obviously we're in Palestine. Israel, Palestine. Um, now, we have a couple of problems here. This could be British... This could be British soldiers. It... it but looking at the uniforms, I don't think it is. I think this is Israeli soldiers. Um, IDF. I'm looking at the, the ambulance that's behind. I believe that's an ambulance. Looking at it, I think we're early. We're, we're really early in uh, Israel's history. So, the partition plan came into place in, in 1948. Um, the big war happened then. We've also got, I'm just thinking about times in history 
when we we have these you know sort of big events when when pictures are more likely to be taken uh, that gun that gun looks yeah looks very much like a world war 2 weapon to me it's got a side loaded side loading magazine which i don't think after world war 2 you're going to see very often so we're talking around 1948. We've also got the 67 war and the 73 war as well. There's also the Suez crisis of 56. Now, it's not going to be the Suez crisis, I don't think. I think we're talking more 48. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I could go, do I brave it and go for 48 or do I hedge it and go for 51? Let's brave it and go for 48. Who dares wins, eh? Yes, come on! Bang! Sorry, I enjoyed that. Um, good one. Good one. So we've, we've sort of brought it back from our, you know, our round one that we had last time where we had a really good guess. Um, right. Russia. I believe we are in Russia anyway. Yeah. These people look very, very, very Russian. Now, we have a Mackie's. We have a Mackie's. So, we have two questions to answer here. Is this Russia post-Berlin Wall, uh, post-Soviet Union collapse, and there's a Mackie's? Or is this just an Eastern European country that was not under Soviet control? Now, if we think about Eastern countries that were not under Soviet control, so we have East Germany, uh, sorry, West Germany. Um, I'm thinking of the borders here. I don't think any of them use Cyrillic. I can't think of one that was not under Soviet control that uses Cyrillic. So this must be Russia after... I mean, I, I can't see Mackie's having a, having a chain... During the Soviet Union, I mean, it doesn't make sense. I think, oh, let's have a look. We've got some sort of modern trams over here. You know, it it's one of those, again, where the, the quality of the picture kind of... kind of is a red herring, because this quality of picture makes it look like it's 70s or 80s, but it's clearly not. We've got a modern Mackie's over there. I wish we could read what was on that. That would really... I mean, we couldn't read it anyway because it's Cyrillic. <laughs> so, uh, Capuela. Oh, God. I think we're early 2000s here. I don't know Russian... Russian. Uh, <laughs> I don't know Russian fashion, so I can't make a comment on that. I'm going to say we've got no cars either, really, that we can see. That looks like a BMW M5. Hmm. So I'm going to go 2005. I'm going to hedge our bets. Okay, 2001. So not too far off. Not too far off. 2,283. Right, these have got to be good. We've got to focus now. And we can break that 3,000. I know we've taken a bit longer on this round, but it's definitely helped us out. We've been working out a lot. It's been quite good so far. Touch wood. Touch wood. Now, this is one that could make or break us completely. This could destroy us because I have absolutely no fucking clue. Oh, God. No. No. Oh, this is a this is brutal. We're not going to make 3000 again, are we? That to me, I just don't know. It, that to me could be 1910 or 1950. Um, looks clearly like we're on Broadway, New York. I have a guy in a suit, but that's not really telling much. I mean, these sorts of hairstyles look like, you know, 1920s-ish hairstyles, really. But they are older women. I'm going to go for... We honestly, I always, I never guess in the 30s. And whenever I don't guess, it's it's in the 30s. Whenever I think it's like 1920, it's actually 1935. So, 
This guy's big cigar as well. Screen. Something desert. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to guess 1935. I don't know. I just see 54. 30s to 50s, bro. That Everyone, everything just looks the same. Like, I don't know. Oh, god damn it, bro. I maybe should have guessed 50s. Now that you when you get the answer it seems so obvious, but Ah, well. Again, this color photo looks like it might be a red herring. Clearly to me look like we're in Britain. Here. Yeah. Clearly. Those balloons, bro. I don't know. Yeah, this I don't know, where's trams, though? Um, I mean, Blackpool? Sheffield? Um, doesn't look like Blackpool to me with this dark brick. This is why I thought it was in Britain, because looking at the style of these houses. But then thinking about it, it could be America. Could be. Oh, this is brutal. We're going to miss out on the wall 3,000 again. I've got into a fluster now. I'm not thinking. Got a lovely German Shepherd there. Look at these styles, though. Look at that, like the trilbies. And the women all really dressed up with these long, sort of flowing capes on. Like, it looks... Is this... Is this... I tell you what. I tell you what. There's a lot of people in black here, but we've also got red. Very common. It's three ladies all in the same uniform there. I'm going to guess, it's a complete guess, it could be completely wrong, that this is troops returning home from World War II. I'm going to... And we've got red flowers there as well. Ah... It's the only thing I've got. Looking at the styles, it looks about right. But again, I'm I'm a I'm an absolute cretinous lecture when it comes to styles, as we've seen so far. Um, so let's guess 45. It's 53. Not too far. Oh God, so close. Those last two rounds destroyed us again. Uh, we did well here, ish. Could have got a bit better, but you know, we guessed World War Two. We guessed early. Um, so that's okay. This was right. That was a really good guess. Um, this was around right. So that was quite a decent guess as well. This was terrible. And honestly, looking at it again, it still looks like the 30s to me. <laughs> and this, you know, we were around the right time. So I'm quite glad with that. So we did all right. We did all right. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this, comment down below, please. Uh, that would really, really be helpful. Comment for Mr. Cherry as usual. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all again on the next video.